Hey guys, welcome back to Algos Explained. My name is David Kim, and today we have another question for you uh, that has to do with uh, going through a string. Of course, this is again in JavaScript, and so let's get straight to it. The input is going to be a string, and the output is going to be a number. And so, what they want us to do is find the index of which the character, or find the index of the character in which, if removed, makes string a palindrome, palindrome, however you want to call that. Um, so what, what does that mean? That means that if the input is like a triple A and like a B, uh, what they're asking is what is the index of the letter uh, that if we take it out, it'll be a palindrome. And so it'd be that one, that'd be a three, zero, one, two, three. And so if it was like a B, C, B, C, you could take out that one or you could take out the C. Doesn't matter. Um, our code probably gonna give us the, the first index out. And we're not asking you to like kind of mutate the string or anything. We're just asking, give us the index. Um, just so that we're checking, you know, do you understand what a palindrome is? And do you know how to take that index out? And do you know how to, oh yeah, like I said, know, how, know what a palindrome is, how to check if it is truly that or not. Um, and if uh, something is, that's not stated in this little direction area here, is uh, maybe something that you should be asking uh, the person giving you the question if they haven't clarified. Uh, a good question is what happens if um, nothing can be taken out? So what if like, what if it's just a single letter or what if it's two letters? Um, I guess I guess if it was a single letter, well, let's say that, let's say that single letters, uh, it is. I guess so. If it's a double letter, you can take it out. But if it's like a like an A B C or something, then yeah, you wouldn't be able to. So okay, we 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 decided single letters they are considered palindromes in our case. Uh, I don't know if it's technically or not. I think it is though. I wouldn't. I don't know why it otherwise wouldn't be. But say we have a case like A B C, you can't take out any one letter to make this whole thing a palindrome. And so this, in cases like this, uh, you would return a negative one. If you got a null string, you'd probably uh, return negative one also. And so with those uh, confines, let's go ahead and think about how we would uh, approach this. And I know that the code's already behind me and you might've already looked at it, but um, if you haven't, uh, how would we do that? Well, first, there are a couple steps that we need to take. One is, figuring out if it's a palindrome or not. And that definitely sounds like a helper function. And the reason I say that is because the main purpose of our problem is not to check if it's a palindrome or not, is to get an index. So that's kind of one objective, but we, don't, we know that we need to complete a second objective, which is knowing if it's a palindrome or not. And so usually when there are like these multiple objectives that need to be accomplished before you can reach a final answer, then that means that that's a great indicator that you know, helper functions do, does make sense. And of course you could always just put it all in one function too, but um, chances are, you know, these questions that are simple, yeah, you can put it in one, um, yeah, you can put it in one function, but if you break it out, use helper functions, it's definitely cleaner code and I think it's definitely better practice. And so, and so we know that, we know that, um, okay, well, we need to find the index. And what does that look like? Finding an index definitely if we're, looking for an index in a string that looks like using some kind of loop um, to iterate through over every single character. And so, cause, because we will never, we'll never find the index of the character if we don't iterate through all of them. And so going through that, that makes sense. We'll have to iterate through using a for loop. And once we are at a certain index, we need to know, okay, it does removing it create a palindrome or not? And so at that point, we know we're gonna have to kind of remove it and and look at the string with, or look at the new string with that one character removed. And so that's another thing we need to do. Um, and after we did, after we did remove that one character, looking at that new string, we need to check, okay, is that a palindrome or not? So after that, once we know yes or no, we know to, okay, we could return the index right there, or we can continue on with the, with the iteration of the loop. Um, iteration through the string with the loop. And of course, we're not asking in a case like BC, 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 we're not asking for all the indexes, we're look, asking for just one. So um, we can choose to return early if we found our answer uh, early on. If we never find an answer, well, you're probably gonna have to go through the entire string. And so, uh, yeah, 
and that's like pretty much exactly what we did over here. We we call our function find index. We're taking a string, and this is in ES6. We're going through a for loop, which is right here. Um, we're letting i equal zero, your basic for loop stuff. And what we do is we can work with the string dot slice plus uh, string dot slice in here, but to make it a little cleaner, we set that to a variable, and so we have this very distinct if statement that says, okay, we're using this helper function right here. If is pally um, returns true. So we don't have any other like equal stuff in here. We're just checking, okay, does this helper function return a true truthy or a falsy value? And if it's true, then we'll return the index indicating that, hey, this new string with that um, character taken out is a palindrome. If not, we'll just continue on with the for loop and take out the next one. And so if you're not too familiar with how to slice or remove a single character from a string, this is exactly how you do it. Um, String.slice, if, if you're unfamiliar with it, I highly suggest you go to the MDM, uh, look at how it's done. Uh, as a quick reminder, the first, uh, it takes two arguments, and it can, and the second, uh, second argument is optional. The first argument is the, the beginning index, which is, and that is, Inclusive meaning if you put a zero there, it will read the zero. So um, this is zero, one, two, three. If you put a string out slice of zero, it will read the A. And if I, for example, was two, uh, I so it, it goes from zero all the way to two, but not including that second index. And what happens to the well? If you don't have a an ending index or a second argument, second parameter. Um, what it will do is it will just take it, it'll slice it all the way to the end, starting at your first, um, your first uh, parameter. And so what we did here was uh, pretty much, let's pretend i is 2, looking at triple A here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this guy. If we're looking at A, 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 B, and i equals 2, what we're going to do is uh, string dot slice from 0 to 2. So that is taking all all of this. So two A's here, which are those first two A's. And if we do two plus one, that's three. So string dot slice three. And it doesn't have a second argument, so it'll just take it all the way to the, all the way to the end. And remember that the first argument, if it only has one, that's the first argument. It's inclusive, so it'll include the B. And of course, we'll send this to our helper function, but it will return false because that is not a palindrome there. Um, I didn't go over this, but palindrome is the same uh, a, a string that is the same uh, forwards and backwards. And so AAA, uh, if you spell it backwards, it's, it's the same, kind of like race car. And uh, oops, I almost put race care, race car. If you if you flip it and spell it the other way, it's the same. And so that's the palindrome. So. Um, I guess, okay, that was the slice part right there. If the isPally helper function returns true, we'll return the index. And if it isn't, then we'll return negative one all the way at the end. This return negative one is outside of the for loop, meaning that it'll only return negative one if we went through every single character, tried taking every single character out, and checked if it was a palindrome. If it just didn't happen to be a palindrome without, or if we tried taking everything out, putting everything together, and nothing turned out to be a palindrome, then we'll return negative one. And uh, if we got an empty string, well, it wouldn't have even gone to this for loop, so it will just return uh, negative one. And so uh, we, we come over here to our helper function just to make sure it works or not. Uh, if you're not familiar with this uh, way of writing things out, this is called ternary statement. What is going on is this is the kind of the, the condition right here. And pretty much these are the two, the two outputs. This is, see how this is kind of like what we would put in an if loop or an if statement right there. A string is equal to string dot split dot reverse dot join. And I kind of just code golf this a little bit, but I think you guys get the idea. What we're doing right here is we're taking a string, we're splitting it into an array. We're using the dot reverse on that array, and then we're joining it back up so that we have a string that is reversed. And we're checking, okay, does the string look like the same, look the same when it's reversed? And there are different ways to reverse a string, but um, for our purposes today, we use the, the method of changing it to an array and reversing it and then joining it back together. And so pretty much, okay, back to the ternary, we're returning 
And this is a condition. If it's true, then we'll return true. If it's false, we'll return false. And these two outputs here, they don't have to be true and false. These can be anything like a one or a two or, or, or strings or whatnot. These are just returns, pretty much like how in an if condition, this is the condition and you could either return and this colon colon and that is the else. So it's like pretty much else return this and else you could even have more ternary statements here. So pretty much what it will return is one of these two. If, it, if this statement was true, it will return this first one. If it was false, it will return this one. And likewise, you could flip these uh, if you flip that. Um, so what I'm trying to say is this, this left side is going to be what happens when the condition is true, uh, but it doesn't have to be true. You know, this could be a not equals. And so when it's not equals, what do you want to return? False. Therefore, you could put the false on this side, the true on this side. Um, yeah. Just know that the left side is what's going to happen if the condition is true. The right side is what's going to happen if, or not what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen, return. Uh, and this is if it was true, if it was false, the condition. And so, yeah, that's the is pally uh, helper function. We used it right here in the for loop, uh, checking the new string. And if it was, then we return the i. And if it wasn't, we return a negative one. And so, Let's go ahead and go through an example real quick. And, and of course, um, I just thought of it. If it's already a palindrome going in, then it, that would also be negative one because, hey, if you remove anything, then it's not a palindrome anymore. So uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Um, let's use the. Uh, Let's see. B A T T A. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Beta. Okay, cool. So what's going to happen is we know that, or well, I guess this is a bad example. Let's go ahead and switch the the. Um, let's switch that. Okay, that way we don't have to uh, exit out after the first one. Pretty much what we're going for is we know that A T T A, that's a palindrome because it's spelled the same forward and backwards. Very easy right there. But we know we're given the string this. This is our input. Um, and so right off the bat, when we're looking at it, we know, okay, we could remove that one and it'll be a palindrome. So uh, we could expect that to happen. So now walking through our code, is that what happens? Our string is this, abta. And so we're going through the for loop. Uh, we're starting at index i. Um, i equals zero, and what we're looking at is the letter a, that one right there. Now our new string, new string, oops, is uh, we're removing the a, so it's slicing from zero to i, which means it'll slice from zero to zero, meaning that'll get nothing. And so it's uh, plusing i plus one, which is i plus one is one, so it'll include the b and it'll take it all the way to the end. So this is kind of, that's our new string right now. And so, and this is so bad. New string, our new string is BTTA. And now we'll throw in this is pally. We're gonna check, okay, is BTTA the same thing as, is BTTA, is that equal to ATTB? No, it's not. It's not the same. So we throw a, we return, we return a false. And so this was false. So if false, then we won't go in there. We'll go to the next one. I is going to be now one. Our next letter we're looking at is the B. And our new string is going to be string dot slice from zero to one, meaning it'll take it from A to B, but B is not included. So it's A plus a string dot slice from I. So that is one, I plus one, that's two. So we're gonna take it from the T. And that's an addition right there. T all the way to the end, so T T A, and so now our new string is A T T A. Now what we're going to be looking for here is we're going to send the new string into the is pally, and we're going to check okay is A T T A the same as A T T A, just a forward and backwards is the same. So we're going to return true, and since this is true, we're going to return I, which was we were at one, which was the index of B, and so that is the correct uh, output. And so lastly, let's go over a real quick example of when 
we're going to expect a negative 1. And let's just go with the example of A, B, C. And we know that um, I'm not going to do all the writing here. We know that our new string, or let, let's at least write our new string. New string, it, at first, it's going to be BC. And that's not going to work out because, well, we know that BC works because of all the slice. We trust that now. But BC is not equal to CB. And so we go to the next loop. Uh, the, our, next care, our next new string is AC. That doesn't work for the same reasons. And next is, um, let's see, AB. A, B. And of course, that doesn't work either. So we, we went through all the options of taking whatever out. We tried taking the A out, didn't happen. We tried taking the B out, didn't happen. Same thing with C. And so we were done with the for loop. We returned negative 1. And so that is um, that kind of proves, OK, our function does work. And so I don't know if there are any edge cases that, that go with this. Um, I wouldn't think so, you know. Let's see, some things that might uh, that we might want to talk about. Mm. Yeah, well, I can't think of any right now. If you guys have any questions, I guess comment that. Um, but for now, you know that that is it. Let me stand over here. Cool. So that was that was the question of finding uh, finding the index of a character. If you take it out, is it a palindrome or not? My name was David Kim. Thanks for uh, joining me today. And this was I was explained. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.